What's up guys, um, I'm going to be bringing you a Photoshop tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make multicolored swirls around a figure like so. First, go to File, New. Create a file where whichever width and height you would like. I'm using 500 by 500 for example. Then, import your picture. I'm going to import this. And then, crap, wait. One minute. Okay. Open. Why isn't it working? Okay. File. Open. This. Print. Okay. Now I've got this. Now what you want to do is go to the layers, double click, and then click OK. This will change it from a background to a normal layer. Alright, now, go over here, create a new layer, and then what you're going to do is go over to the pen tool, and uh, just make the swirls around the girl. I'm going to do it rather quickly, but you can obviously have take more time on yours, and perfect it. Alright, now what I'm going to do is go over to the brush tool, and then go to this and change my size to 9 9 ish yeah and I'm gonna have a soft brush now what I'm gonna do is have my foreground color to a yellow you do not have to do this but you can change to whatever color you would like and then I'm going to right click or not right click one minute I'm going to go to the path pen tool again and then right click on this image click on stroke path tick the brush thing and untick simulate pressure click OK now I have this green swirl around my figure now what I'm gonna do is create a new layer actually I'm gonna go into this one I'm gonna say enter and then I'm gonna go to the new layer and then I'm gonna go over to the paintbrush tool change the size to a fairly big, I'm going to make mine about 300-ish and then make this a soft brush um, now what you're going to do is zoom in like so um, and then I'm going to go over to the brush tool again and then since the lines are yellow, I'm going to change it to a different color, or just random colors. And then I'm going to just go over these colors. Do not worry about this, uh, as you can see later on. You do not have to be perfect. Just go over it with different sets of colors as you wish. I'm going to make mine white. Do not worry about the image fading away. is going on okay there and then change the colors to a reddish okay what the hell really are you kidding me? Okay, now, now what you want to do is click on the, like the selection tool and then go to the layers and then hold down the ALT key, that's A-L-T and then go in between layers 1 and 2 and you'll see this little tab pop up. What this does is basically it masks layer 1 all the way to layer 2 so just click on it and as you can see there we have it we have multicolored lands now to spice it up double click layer 1 and then go to outer shadow outer glow I mean sorry 
Uh, I'm gonna change my glow to a white. I'm gonna increase the size. And and then go over to stroke. And then what you wanna do is make the color white also. Blend mode is normal. And the size you can change to whatever you would like. Just keep it at one. That's the best. And I'll pass it to 100. Click OK. Now you have this fancy neat kind of thing. Now it's the really fun bit. So in my case, it's fun for me, but I don't know about you. Um, I'm gonna go to the eraser tool, make it a soft eraser, and then I'm gonna make it really big. Then I'm gonna make my foreground color white. Um, I'm gonna go over to the zoom tool and then zoom in. Okay, like so. And then I'm gonna go over to the eraser tool and carefully actually I'll make this smaller. I'm gonna carefully rub out the ones what you want. I'm gonna start off in the middle. As you can see when you do this it like rubs out the pixels in the image so it looks as if like it's going from behind and coming from the front as well. So I'm gonna rub there. Uh -huh, okay. Make sure you do it right at the edge, otherwise it's gonna look unrealistic. little bit from there way all the way down there now as you can see the go selection tool actually I'm gonna go zoom tool with the screen um de zoom it okay now you have your very own spiral multicolored spiral thing going around as you can see down here, it's cut off because I didn't do it completely all the way going out of it, but you get the basic idea. So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial actually as, as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Um, please comment, subscribe and like like the video. Peace.